here's another. EG Media Group Production. Create, connect, convert. This is the Small Business Monthly Expo podcast. The best source for business owners from entrepreneurs to corporations. We're here to help your business grow throughout the Midwest and the nation. Now, here's your host, Jim Wright. Hey, it is the St. Louis Small Business Monthly Expo podcast. St. Louis's best resource for small business information and expertise. I'm your host, Jim Wright, and uh, well, we've had a lot of experts here today, and I do appreciate you being with me today. We're having an announcement right now over the loudspeakers, so that's going to interfere just a little bit. We'll catch up here in just a second. When the podcast returns, Jim will be speaking with Umesh C. Patel of UC Franchise Consulting. As a CEO, spreadsheets come with the territory, but I can't escape asking myself these questions. In what areas should I devote more focus and develop more understanding so I can properly interpret my company's real financial health? How do I take that data and use it to create and implement a plan to increase profits and discover the company's true financial potential? Enter CEO to CEO. We believe these are the types of questions a good CEO or business owner should be asking. We've helped hundreds of CEOs and leaders understand the true cash flow, bankability, and actionable real-time management opportunities in their respective companies. We have a knack for making the complicated easy and, to many, fun to understand. We have virtual sessions online, and we also offer one-to-one CEO coaching. CEO to CEO exists to help businesses and business leaders realize their full potential. Reach out today at ceo2ceo.coach. CEO, the number two, ceo.coach. That's ceo2ceo.coach. Are you ready, St. Louis? What if you could build the business and career you've always dreamed of? Join us at the St. Charles Convention Center for the St. Louis Business Expo and Growth Conference. This one-day event is designed to help you unlock and unleash your breakthroughs and take your business to the next level. This has become the largest business-to-business expo in the state of Missouri. Don't miss out. We'll also have some of the best companies in St. Louis on hand to showcase their services and provide you with help and assistance as well. The best part is it's all free. If you'd like more information or to register, visit stlexpo.com or call us at 314-569-0076. Don't miss it. That's stlexpo.com. One day, a lifetime of change. I'll see you at the St. Louis Business Expo and Growth Conference. Join us at the St. Charles Convention Center for the next Small Business Monthly Expo, May 10th, 2023. Hey, we are here with the St. Louis Small Business Monthly Expo. I'm Jim Wright, your host, and I have with us today, Umesh Patel, is that correct? That is right. Oh, that's great. (laughs) Why are you here at the Expo today? Well, I'm here to meet and network with people and uh, see how I can grow my business in franchise consulting. Great, franchise consulting. What all does that entail? Well, that entails when the firm I represent, uh, we have 700 franchises in 70 plus different industries in our portfolio. Sure. And anybody looking to get into a franchise business, it's a very overwhelming, frustrating and time consuming process. That is where I come in. With my 37 years of business experience, I help guide them to make a right fit. which would be a right fit for them. Oh, that's great. Uh, they could come in and just say, I don't know what I want, yes. but I want something. Yes. And you're going to help them with that. And I'm going to help them structure that through that process and funnel it through to make sure that you know they're getting into the right one. You always look at franchises and you think that is, going, it's got to be very expensive. Are there franchises that are out there that are a, g- a good value? Well, many. I mean, you, we, once I know the investment range, what your skill sets are, and, uh, you know, with franchising, um, if, if you're an owner-operator, you, you find franchises that you can come into the lower investment level. If you want to go that executive level where you want semi-absentee or just passive, uh-huh. then, of course, the investment level goes up. But, but then, uh, you know, if you can afford that, then that's what you want. Because sure. maybe some people only want to put 10, 20 hours a week in a business but sure. still be able to manage the people that are there but those businesses there are franchises that offer that and then there's the owner operated franchises which which offer for much less but if you're an owner operator willing to put in all the 40 hours but you sort all that out for them oh yes yeah and, and i 
and I make once I know what they want, I make a pr presentation of four different franchises that I think that would be a good fit mm -hmm. for them, or maybe two in same industries and help narrow it down. That'd be so, great. Yes. Can you tell me? Uh, you were telling me, I guess, mm -hmm. franchises. You you not only help people buy them, you help them sell them. Yes. And you and told I, me a third thing. The third thing is that uh, I help businesses that are just independent businesses, but they have a great model. They have a great business concept behind it. We can take them to become a franchisee, the franchisor themselves. So you know the process that they have to go through to make every little thing that they could make. Okay, here's your franchise package. Yes, so. and then we would introduce them to the specialists who do that. Uh, the experts in that, and then they would guide them through the whole process and, and make them a franchise. Wow. Door. When you take a look at a business, can any one of them be franchised? Well, not all of them. I think what is important is that, uh, you know, what kind of product or service are they selling? Uh -huh. Is it something unique? It could be something that everybody's doing, but if it's a unique concept, unique franchise, and it's scalable, then you can take that private-owned business to become a franchise. Do you have ways to help people find financing for their franchise? Yes, we do. We have uh, funding partners that we can uh, refer a potential candidate to who would walk them through, you know, SBA funding, 401k, and they just specialize in franchise financing. So they understand what is required and how to make that process go very smoothly. The process from start to finish, about how long does that take? Well, if uh, it will be about six months uh -huh. uh, from the time that I first speak to a a potential candidate who's looking to get into a franchise business and we have our conversation and stick to the process mm -hmm. and, and then making the introduction and then them going through the discovery process with the franchise because remember getting into a franchise is not that only the franchise uh, wants your money they are also looking to see if the candidate is a good fit oh yeah because it's their brand you know if they get a bad apple sure it's going to be worse for everybody else. yeah for sure <laughs> so what is one thing you'd want people to know about your business one that my services to them are 100% complimentary because the franchises in my portfolio compensate me for the right, finding them the right candidate. Ah. So it's not that I, you know, I just, you know, here's Jim, here's the franchise. Yeah. Okay, you guys talk and I've done my part. No, because then he's going to say, like, but tell me something about Jim. Why did you send him to me? Yeah, <laughs> right? there you go. Sure. <laughs> so that's where I'm kind of the liaison between the two. And, you know, there's sometimes people are a really, little... Uh, guarded in talking to the franchise about things, but if they talk to me and I, I can talk them through that process, they understand and, and you know what questions to ask. Yeah. What, what you know, give them a list of questions that when they talk to the franchisees to ask. So you but, really care about your customer and your franchise, sir, yeah. getting to know each other and make sure it's a good fit. Hundred percent, because you know uh, I've been in business for thirty-seven years and. Uh, I started doing this because uh, my mission in my business is simple. It's uh, making somebody achieve their dream of business ownership through franchising. Yeah. I think this has been a very interesting conversation. I want to thank you so much for being with us. If we wanted to get in touch with you, how would we do so? Uh, you could, uh, this is my website. It's uh, www.ucfranchiseconsulting.com. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, all my contact information is there. We also have a link. I also have a link to exploring all the different franchises in all these industries. So Perfect. somebody could look them up before even calling me and say, you know, I saw this. Can yeah. you tell me something more about it? Perfect. Or just call, call me and we'll walk you through the process. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate you being with us today. Thank you, Jim, you for bet. your time. It's been a pleasure. Coming up in just a moment is Ron Amblin, the president of the St. Louis Small Business Monthly, and we're going to find out why it's important to attend this expo. Now a word from our sponsor. You've made the monumental decision to sell your business. Maybe the sale is your retirement nest egg, or perhaps you're not ready to sell, but you need to raise more capital so you can scale. You now have the task of placing a non-emotional market value on the business you've built, the business to which you've likely devoted a good part of your life. How do you navigate which accepted valuation methodologies or combination of formulas to use? Your CPA may suggest one conventional approach, your banker another. The truth is, there's nothing conventional about the valuation process. Every business and situation is unique. You deserve an experienced partner who has your best interest in mind, a trusted resource to not only work with you to determine a valuation, but prepare you for the valuation process and all that it entails. That partner is Innovative Business Advisors. 
Learn more at InnovativeBA.com. We'd love to have a conversation with you about your business. That's InnovativeBA.com. Ready to explore St. Louis in a unique hassle-free way? How about on an innovative three-wheeled electric trike with Trike STL Guided Tours, a self-balancing and battery-assisted machine that's also low impact on your body and fun. Visit TrikeSTL.com or call 314-4-TRIKKE. You want to be an exhibitor at our next Business Expo and Business Growth Conference. Not only is this the largest business-to-business expo in the Midwest, Business owners and key employees can gain months worth of clients and contacts in just a few hours. With over 20 seminars and keynote speakers. This is a can't miss event for hundreds of business owners. Types of industries that exhibit. Accounting. Human resources. E-commerce. Break room supplies. Apps. Computer equipment. Just to name a few. If you'd like more information on how you can be an exhibitor at the next Business Expo and Business Growth Conference. Go to stlouisbusinessexpo.com. One day. A lifetime of change. Ron, I want to talk about reasons people come to the expo. Sure, the the top three reasons to attend is is number one, this is where people who are interested in business are going to be. One day, under one roof, at one time. So if you want to match those people, that's where you want to be. Number two, we're going to have a huge stage with some of the most accomplished business experts talking about business strategies and tips. So if you want to take your business to the next level, this is a way to advance your planning and your skills and your aptitude for building a better business. And and number three is you want to increase your leads and your sales. And and there's no better place to do it than on one day and under one roof when you have thousands of people here who are all interested in business and what you're up to. I, I know that your magazine and the expo actually go hand in hand. I'd like you to tell our listeners why you feel that one builds well off the other and, and why you do the things the way you do them. Yeah, yeah. The Well, you know, the, the event, the expo, is a lot like our magazine. You know, in our magazine, we have all these helpful articles and how-tos and and, uh, and, and here we have 17 different seminars where people are sharing their, their knowledge and their how-tos. And, uh, and then you're also in a magazine, we have all the, the advertisers who have products and services that are going to help you grow your business. Sure. And out at this exhibit hall, everybody out here has a product or service that's going to help you grow your business, whether it's an IT company, an accounting firm, a bank. There's someone out here who's going to help you take the next step in your business. And, and you just have to, to match that match those folks together and build those relationships and uh, we do that in on the newspaper side the magazine side and we do it here in the event side and and when you can when you can do that when you can match those two together then that's when you you'll have a lot of success and you'll build those those businesses we can check out your website at stlexpo.com okay great well ron you and your staff are sure great examples of helping small business i want to thank you for what you do for not just the business community but the whole area and uh thank you so much for having us here today and for being here yourself well thank you very much all right appreciate it you bet thank you for listening to the podcast today and you can follow us more on sbmon.com remember the small business monthly is the source for business owners here's another eg media group production Create, connect, convert.